Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Ex-FBI special agent takes blowtorch to Comey. He made up own rules, predetermined Clinton probe. Ex-special agent Chris Swecker, uh, Swecker um, took a blowtorch to former Bureau Director James Comey Sunday, accusing the fired law enforcement executive of having an oversized ego that led to a predetermined Hillary, Hillary Clinton email probe. Republicans on the House Intel panel released that controversial FISA memo on Friday, bringing to light what they say are some pretty shocking revelations. Joining us now to react is Chris Swecker, who served 24 years as an FBI special agent. Sir, with all due respect to our other guests today, this interview is arguably the most important because of your background as an FBI agent. So I'll ask you right off the bat, you've heard other individuals saying the FBI is going to go after the president. The FBI hates the president. This was bad. This is now FBI versus president. How do you react to that? Well, I'd, I'd say, look, there, Chris Ray and the new deputy director, Dave Bowditch, are going to do no such thing. Th what, what we're talking about here is a breakdown in the senior, senior leadership of the FBI under Jim Comey and, and uh, Andy McCabe as deputy director. I would hate for the public to think that the FBI as an institution is flawed or biased. What, what, what this is, is a very small inner circle of senior leadership under Jim Comey at a very critical time period. And I, I just don't want this to reflect on the 35,000 very, mm -hmm. you know, the excellent men and women of the FBI who are doing a great job every day. So, Chris, let's get specific. And we've heard the partisan attacks on all sides, people who don't like the president, people who like the president, uh, and people who like James Comey and don't like James Comey. So I think, as Todd said, it's very important to get your perspective of somebody who was inside the FBI. So James Comey holds himself out there even today on Twitter and Instagram as his paragon of virtue above the fray. You were there for 24 years. How do you think he's behaved over the last couple of years? His, you know, his public performance as FBI director, both in the Clinton probe and then how he handled President Trump. Well, I had the perspective of serving directly under Director Mueller. I bet I sat on, in on 500 plus meetings with him and Director Free. And these were two great leaders. They stayed in the background. They, I never saw a hint of bias. Unfortunately, under Jim Comey, that hubris that you just mentioned caused him to, to make up his own rules, leaks, permissive leak environment, predetermining investigations, a non-investigation of the Clinton, Clinton uh, email investigation, um, thumb on the scale on the Russian investigation in the beginning here with the FISA applications, and just generally making up their own rules and, and letting their own uh, political opinions. Yeah. Uh, in, in fact, their investigation, in fact, that is something you learn at the FBI Academy. You can't let your personal bias, you got to leave those yeah. at home. If not, you need to be in another yeah, line In of fact, I, I want to get you on something, which is that uh, defenders of James Comey have said, ah, it was not a big deal that he and Andrew McCabe and others were drafting this exoneration statement for Hillary Clinton months before they even interviewed her. I'm an outsider. We're outsiders. We don't know how the FBI does its job. Right. Is that the proper way? I mean, people on the outside hear that and say three months before she was exonerated, they were already drafting right. the statement. Doesn't that sound like it was cooked? Yes, it does. It sounds like the thumb is on the scale. I mean, those of us that have done criminal investigations and counterintelligence investigations know that the Clinton email investigation was not a real investigation. Mm -hmm. they, they never even never once used the grand jury that I know of. Uh, we're, we're, we're hearing, those of us that are in the retired agent community, we're hearing that Director, uh, Deputy Director McCabe was expressing his opinions in closed-door meetings all the time about, about Trump. So we're, we're talking about a predetermined mm, right. investigation. And that, and that is just not how the FBI as a that's, whole operates. The problem is agents democracy. on the street don't operate that way. Yeah. We appreciate it, Chris Wecker. Thank you so much, sir. Very much appreciate it. As the pundit previously reported, Comey downplayed the FISA abuse memo, tweeting, That's it. Dishonest and misleading memo wrecked the House Intel Committee, destroyed trust with the intelligence community, damaged relationships with FISA court, and an inexcusably exposed classified investigation of an American citizen. For what? DOJ and FBI must keep their jobs, Comey tweeted. A documents released in August of last year show Comey exonerated Hillary Clinton before the investigation into her email conduct had even concluded. 
Even more concerning is Mr. Comey even circulated in an early draft statement to select members of senior FBI leadership, reported the town hall. According to the un, uh, un, unredacted portions of the transcripts, it appears that in, in April or early May of 2016, Mr. Comey had already decided he would issue a statement exonerating Sen uh, Secretary Clinton that was long before the FBI a agents even finished their work. Now, Mr. Comey even circulated an early draft statement to select members of senior FBI leadership. The outcome of an investigation should not be prejudged while FBI agents are still hard at work trying to gather the facts, wrote Senators Charles, uh, Charles Grassley and Lindsey Graham. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.